Hello, 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 is anybody there? Hello, hello, we're one minute to ten. Two people are here. Good morning, good morning. We've got three, four, it's going up. Good morning. What a lovely morning it is, really sunny, so I've got my back door open so I can, you can hear the birds tooting, um, so hopefully it's not too noisy. Um, we have a few people watching, if you want to shout out, just write the wee message, otherwise you can just stretch along, stretch along, stretch along. Good morning, a few people that I chatted to yesterday are on, which is fab to see. Hopefully it's suitable, well not hopefully, it's definitely suitable for everybody. Good morning Lindsay, lovely to see you this morning, it was lovely to chat yesterday. Good morning Sarah A and Amanda, good job with scheduling the work and managing to get 30 minutes. We're going to give another 30 seconds and then we will... Um, get started. Good morning Zoe. Let's get you stretching and moving this morning. Um, we will do very similar if not almost the same as the last couple of days so it'll be all based around shoulder mobility, a little bit of um, hip mobility and a little bit on the ankles as well purely because that's where I feel it the most and a bit of feedback that a few people um, have said that as well. Good morning, Kirsty M. Lovely to see you and chat away in our group yesterday. Good eye, Mike. Good eye, Daniel. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hope you're keeping well down under. Okay, so we've got a few people in now, so let's get started. Um, as I said last last couple of sessions, you need a judo belt. Good morning, Karen, Cusack Clarkson, and Caitlin, hopefully, and Murray. So, you need a, either a judo belt or a broom handle or some elastics. Some people prefer the elastics. Ah, morning, Gem. And hopefully a bit of stretching, Gem, for the old muscles and shoulders, the same as mine. Good morning, Miss Lisa. Okay, so, take your judo belt or your broom handle and shoulder width apart if you take it nice and tall above your head now. Try to imagine there's a bit of string pulling your head up to the sky, so that makes your arms super duper long. Okay, I'm going to hold it nice and tall, and you're going to turn to one side. Okay, so off you go. Just turn and hold, not too far to start with, because we are, it's still morning. Okay, hold it for another couple, and let's turn the other way. Imagine that string's pulling the hands and the head and making your spine super long to the sky. Good job. Gonna go once more each side. Okay, nice and tall. Imagine you're just trying to warm your body up. Get it moving this morning. One more on the other side. Hold that side, just keep that side held. Okay, good morning all the taplins. Morning, Rachel. Okay, back to the middle. So this time, stay nice and tall. You're going to bend down to one side. Really just go to where you feel is comfortable. Or just edging on slightly uncomfortable. Okay, if you can bend more, bend more. Okay, keep those arms nice and tall. And off to the other side. Good. Okay, just to where you can feel. Lots of you might feel it in the shoulders here. And you'll feel it down the side here. Okay, on the other side once more. Hold that. Imagine the strings pulling your fingers away from your body. And once more on the other side. Keep pulling it away. Keep on that. Keep on that. Okay. Keep pulling it away. Keep pulling it away. And good job. Back to the middle. Okay. Let's go wider now. Okay. Same idea. A wee bit wider. Turn to the side, again, to where you feel comfortable. Keep the knees soft. Keep those fingers, those arms pulling towards the sky. 
and slowly the other way. I can hear the birds outside. It's a lovely day here. Okay, nice and tall. Again, just where you feel comfortable. Good, good, good. Slowly back to the middle. You'll start to feel, well, I definitely do around the shoulders are starting to work. Once more on the other side. Nice and tall there. You can probably go a wee bit further now and once more on the other side. Keep those arms as straight as possible, pull them towards the sky or the ceiling. And relax, give them a sugar. Okay, nice and tall. Legs slightly, slightly soft and again to the side. So, to where you can feel it. Okay, so not too crazy. Imagine you're between, um, sandwiched between two walls. So, you're trying to keep it in line like this. And then slowly up to the other side. Try and keep it in line as much as possible rather than falling forward or back. Good job. Slowly back to the middle, once more each side now. Okay. Three. So I can start to feel that I almost start to, my shoulders start to shake because they can feel the tension, but keep those arms nice and straight. Hold that for a couple more seconds on that side. Okay, keep nice and strong, keep nice and strong. And good, relax there. Okay, I'm going to do two forward stretches for this one. So, arms and um, shoulder width apart, nice and tall. You can hinge at the hip, keep the um, biceps in line with the ears, and forward bend. Okay, so as far as you can go, imagine you're pushing your bottom to the wall behind you and you're almost sitting the weight on your heels. Okay, so same position, sit the weight on your heels like that. You can feel the stretch in the shoulders. Okay, come up slowly, give them a sugar. Okay, you can do that again. So nice and tall, shoulder width apart. Hinge out the hip, keep the body nice and strong, keep the elbow and the biceps near the ears, and hinge out the hip. Okay, keep the knees soft. Good job. Okay. For some of us, we'll bend further. For some of us, we'll be around about here. And slowly, keep the arms of sugar. Okay, this time wider. Nice and tall. Pull, the body, pull away from your body. Okay, hinge at the hips. This one's going to be tough. Okay, this one's going to be much tougher for most people. So just go to where you can. I was going to say where it's comfortable, but it's really not comfortable for me here. Okay. Pull those arms away from your body. And hold a couple more seconds. And back. Give me a sugar. Okay, I'm starting to sweat now. So imagine everybody else is once more. Arms wide and forward. Good job. Hold it, stick that bum back. Maybe take your big toes off the ground so the weight on the heels. Good job. Slowly up and give them a shoot. Okay, last one, our favourite one that everybody loves. Nice and wide, up high, over the back, down to your bottom. Okay, and then come slowly back up. Well, this pace is a good pace. You might need to go super wide to start with. Okay, but I'd like you to keep the arms nice and straight. So keep the arms straight, and if you need to go this wide, go super wide. Good. Okay, keep going around about this pace. Okay, if that's starting to get comfortable, come a bit narrower. Then you'll start to feel the stretch over the top. Keep going at this pace. Okay, we're going to do two more like that. Back down. Okay, this is usually a sticking point. This is a sticking point over the back, and then it becomes a wee bit easier. Okay, once more, full revolution. Push up, up, up. And down. Excellent. Good. Okay, give your arms a sort of a bit of a rotation. Everything will be a bit sore, a wee bit tight. Well, it is for me anyway. Good morning, Murray, and I'm glad you're here. Lovely to see you. You'll be super duper flexible, so you'll be stretching all over the place. Okay, so imagine the hurdle, 
going to do 10 on each side. One, two, keep nice and strong. Three, four, five. Now remember for this, just go as high or as low as you need to go. Your head might be like this just to start with. For some of us, um, hips will be really tight or hips will be sore from stuff that's been going on with how we sit, how we move, maybe if you've had children as well. Okay, change sides. Okay, really try to get over that hurdle. Okay, really try to open the hips out. Try not to rotate the torso too much. Okay, and it's hard to count and talk, so it's usually roughly about 10 that we're going to do. Okay, I think that's about seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're going to do the similar thing, but we're going to go backwards this time, so back over the hurdle. One, keep that balance. If you need to hold on to the wall, or to the chair, or the sofa, then please do. Three, this is really about your body and making it work how you want it and really need it to work. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine. Even though I stand on one leg, I can feel my other hand, bum, cheek, or muscles starting to work. Okay, so everything should be working. Okay, try and keep alignment as good as possible. Three, four, good job. Five. Six, keep going. This is really good because especially if you sit down for a lot of the day, if you're at a desk or if you're working two more, you don't get much chance to, to move. This should be really good on your hips. Okay, give them a sugar because I can definitely feel that. Okay, this time we want to bring the leg across the body. So you might bring it like this or eventually you can start to kick it across. Keep the body the same. I'm going to alternate legs. Like this. So if it's just me, it looks like this. Three, four, five. Okay, then you can start to lift the leg if you want. Okay, these are definitely ones that I did a lot when I was training or warming up and um, that the guys and the girls do on the judo mat and warm ups all the time. And I think it's really good just to keep everything mobile, keep quite supple. Okay, now. You might only be coming here, that's fine, as long as you feel some sort of movement. You can do four more. One, two, three, okay, and one more, good. Okay, so you can start to feel it all the way. And this time, I'm going to come straight ahead. I always go opposite hand to toe, but it's entirely up to you. So, it can come here, change legs. Or can start to come higher, just be careful of your hamstrings, okay? If you're super tight in the hamstring, again, if you need to hold on, hold on to something. And like this, okay? Try and keep the body nice and strong. Okay, if there's four of you in the house, I think, like um, my sister and the three kids, although the girls might not be up yet. Um, watch your space. Okay, try not to kick anybody. It's not a good start to the day. Okay, we're going to do two more because I've completely lost count. Good. Okay, so this time I'm going to go sideways with the legs. So, out to the side. Again, hold on to something if need be. Two, and bring it to where you need to bring it. Okay, so if that's here or here, then great. Okay, hold on to something and start to bring it higher. Okay, if this is super new to you, then just make sure you find your balance, find your position, and find what works for you. Really good, good work. Just under halfway. Okay, so we'll start on the shoulders, lots of mobility in the shoulders and the hips. Okay, two more. One, two. Okay, rest your hips. Sugar and shoulders, get a quick drink if you need to get a quick drink. I forgot my drink um, this morning, so 
Okay, next one, ankles, because, um, well, especially I get really sore ankles because I had operations after I stopped competing, but I think just day to day, if you run about after the kids or if you're in the garden or if you're doing a lot of movement, it's good to get the ankles. Okay, so get the ankles moving. So this sort of position, okay, make sure you've got a wide base so that you don't fall over. Okay, back leg, bend, and then straighten the back leg. Imagine the heel is going towards the ground. Okay, so bend like a sprinter and straighten it. You'll start to feel the tension on the back of the calf down here. Keep going, keep going. We're going to do 10, so we've done about 5, 6, keep balance, 7, 8. So I feel this in my ankles a lot. My ankles are always real sore. So this is a really good one. Okay, change legs. So other leg goes forward. Back leg bends like a sprinter or a Getting ready to get off in the blocks and then bend, straighten, bend. You can see the wide base, okay? You don't want to put your feet in line. Two, and four, sorry. Five, six. I was talking to Sally Conway the other day and she was doing a video for Con, Connie. And we were talking about how hard it is to count and talk and remember how many you've counted. And I think it's impossible. It's got to be impossible. Okay, give your hands a sugar. This time, you're going to kneel down or find somewhere to so get a cushion, get a yoga mat, something that you can kneel on. And this is for the front ankle. Okay, so start to put your weight through and back. Keep the heel on the ground. Put the weight through the ankle and back. Now, I know Murray and Caitlin and Lachlan and maybe Abigail and Isla and, oh, and Caleb will be able to push the knee really far forward. Mine doesn't go so far. Okay. So get the mobility moving in that ankle. Okay, change legs. So other leg goes at the front. Okay, if you need to sit back, sit back. Otherwise start to push here into that ankle. Okay, the further you can get your knee across, obviously the more flexible you are, um, or the more flexible your ankle is. Mine doesn't move. Try and keep the heel on the ground every time. Good, couple more. Okay, we're over halfway now, so all good. Okay, well done, give your ankles a sugar. Okay, make sure everything's moving. Okay, hope everyone's good. Okay, let's start on our lunges now. So, make sure you've got plenty of space. We want to go from the standing position, arms in the air. Okay, if you need to hold on to something, please do. Step, 90 degrees at the front. If your knee needs to go down, side bend, side bend, twist, twist. From here, either hands on the knee or hands in the air, push back and change legs. Hands up, step. If you can lunge and the knee doesn't go down, then do that. You'll start to feel a lot more work through the legs, but please put the knee down. If you need to put the knee down, push. Okay, we're going to do five each side, okay? Off you go. Good job. Keep that balance. And then push. Keep going. Step. Lunge. Side. Side. Twist. Twist. And push. That's two each side, okay? You'll start to feel the burn in the legs. I definitely do. Okay? Make sure you put that knee down. Make sure you balance if you need to especially if it's something new that you're not used to doing, okay? Then go make sure you have a wide base as well, that's really important. Okay, here, here, certainly for me, I can feel it's pretty hard work. It's not something I do every day, but it's probably something I should 
do it every day. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Four, four on this leg. Okay, take a breather if you need to, but try to stay in that lunge. Try to get the knee on the ground. Good job. Push. Okay, one more each side. Do the legs of sugar. Step. Dip. Side. As you can see, I always forget what I've done first. This way, one more now. Step. Dip. Side. So I hope the pace is better. Obviously, please feedback if it's not a good pace, if it's too fast, if it's too slow. Okay, next one. So this is quite a difficult one. So we're going to hinge at the hip, hold on to something if need be. And you can imagine you're a seesaw. So as the head goes down, the back leg comes up. Okay, when you get to where your balance is sort of enough, dip down, step back, and again into your back lunge. Just side, side. If you need two hands on me, push back to the start. Okay, so hands up, change legs, leg up, seesaw, okay, as far as you can. If you can go further, go further. Dip down, back. If you want to hover, hover. I think we did the side stretch. Side stretch. Back to the front. Okay. Ready. Change legs. Up. Leg up. Seesaw. Okay. If you can extend the back leg and keep nice and long and straight, please do. Dip the knee. Step back. Here. We can do four each side. Here. Push back to the front, okay? Remember, please hold on to something until your body is used to it. Look at my ankle, my ankle and my legs are working super hard to try and balance. Super hard, okay? My core's working real hard. That's two each side, keep going. So we're gonna go on to the third one. Thanks Amanda, good pace. Okay, good job Sai, hope you managed to get a wee bit out of it. Um, okay, remember, just do it at your pace. I'm sweating and I can certainly feel it. Okay, probably done three on each side, one more each side. Okay, knee up, if you can, hands up. Seesaw, straighten the back leg, dip the front leg, hands down, lunge back. Hands up, a wee stretch, a wee stretch, push to the front, and then one more. Okay, knee up, knee up, over you go, over you go, dip down, dip down, sideways. Kids will be great at this, kids will be absolutely brilliant. Okay, give me loads of sugar, okay. Okay, so I can feel it, so hopefully everybody else can as well. So last one standing, then we're going to go on to our tummy. We've got about five minutes left, so if you can, sort of a wider leg position. Again, this is dependent on, on your um, movement, your flexibility, or maybe lack of at the moment. Toes pointing out, and knees pointing towards the toes. So some of us might be here, and that's enough for us. If not, bend in a bit deeper. Okay, and just gently side to side. Okay, and remember, stay there if you're staying there. Remember if you're here, just stay here. Okay, you can start to feel it all up here. Definitely feel it in your bum, well, I can. If this is something you do regular, you can take the hands off, and you can move, or you can sit, just like this, okay? Remember if you're here, stay here for another two seconds. One, and up. Okay, last wee bit, you're going to be lying on your tummy. So if you need to put something underneath your body, please do. If you need a cushion under your chest or your tummy, 
please do, or your head. So, find a space on the ground, you rely on your tummy. Okay, we're going to do something where we rotate our arms. So, from here, lie on your tummy, arms at the top of your body, head down, and you're going to go round, palms down, and touch above your bottom, palms up, and then back to the top. Okay, so at the top we're going to do eight. Down, touch, and back. Ideally the head should be on the ground so the neck's not under any pressure or stress. Three. Try to hover above the ground with your hands if you can. Four. To the top. Five. To the top. Six. Keep going, keep going. To the top. Seven. Keep going, keep going. Back to the bottom. And eight. Excellent work. Okay, stay in the same position. Now we're going to do what we call I, Y, T and W. Imagine on the ground, you're a capital I, then a Y, then a T, and finally a W. So, we're going to do ten I's. Okay, so the idea is you lift your shoulders off the ground. So, one, two, three. Keep your feet on the ground. Four, five. Six, keep going. Seven, eight, you'll feel the shoulders burning. Nine, good job. Ten, give them a sugar, have a wee rest. This time you're going to be a capital Y, so head on the ground, arms out, and your job is to take the hands off. Ready? One, two, three. Four, keep moving. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, T's, arms to the side, capital T. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. It'll be burning now. Five, six, Seven, keep moving. Eight, nine, good job. Ten, last one like this, then just the final stretch. Now you're a W, so make your hands like a W, head in the middle. And this one, one. Pinch here, two. Pinch your shoulder blades together, three, four. Pinch your shoulder blades, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, gently start to move, stand up. Make sure you rotate the shoulders out because they'll be real tight. Okay. Okay, last wee bit. We've got a couple of minutes, so we've just got the last wee bit. Okay, shoulders will be tight, shoulders will be stiff. Okay, so hands and knees. Okay. So, we're going to dip the body, head up, big stretch, and then round the body, like this. Dip the body up, head to the sky, and round, like this. Okay, last wee bit. So, depending on how you're feeling, okay, tuck the toes, bottom to the sky, and armpits to the ground. Now, just pedal the toes, keep the legs bent. Okay, so stay in position. Okay, you might be able to stay here for one or two seconds. Okay, so just take your time. Armpits pushing to the ground, like this. Pedal the toes, and come to rest. Okay, once more. Hands down, tabletop position. Tuck the toes. That string's pulling your bottom to the sky. If you need to bend, keep bent. If you can straighten, start to straighten. Okay, make sure you breathe. Good job.
job, good job, and gently come down. Okay, heels together, sit your bottom on your heels if you can, and arms away from your body. Now, that's if you're bendy, stay in position. If this is pretty new to you, just sit like this, okay? So just sit with your bottom towards your heels and arms here. I'm going to hold this for about 10 or 15 seconds and then we are done. Okay, so everything should, <laughs> everything might be sore right now, but everything should be loosening off. Shoulders, hips and sort of legs and ankles, okay? If it's your first time doing it, or if you find it really tough, okay, remember we need to modify everything. We need to make it work for you. But trust me, trust me, the only thing that's going to make it better is consistency, okay? So the more you can do it, or if we can do it every Tuesday, Thursday, especially in this period, and then we can bolt more and more things on, okay? And um, we can always make it harder. So for you guys that are getting used to it, or you guys that are a bit more mobility, we can do more and more things. 30 minutes, Tuesday morning, it's a beautiful day here. So I hope that has helped you and I hope you feel a bit better for it. Remember the girls group yesterday, get out for that walk right now if you've got the time. Okay, take care and I'll see you all soon, Thursday, 10 o'clock. Bring your belt or bring your band. Okay, cheers guys. Bye.